Welcome to True Island Stories. No one frighten for your advice there, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. If you get catch, drop some comments in the comment section. But anyway, to all of the regular ones and ones them out there who is a true and avid listener to the True Island Stories YouTube channel, if you're experiencing difficulties seeing his new and latest uploads, He's asking for you to just unsubscribe and immediately resubscribe to the channel so you can continue to enjoy his true island stories. Yeah, man. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on. A blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, I'm a peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps, uh, to the name of Friday the day when Mr. Michael smiled upon some of the ones and ones them pack it. So while traversing the street from Moran Point to Nick Grill Point, continuously look out on the corner of your Kazwa. The old dirty kind of boy, them always out there. Alerts. So, now the man in my peeps, we are going to focus on a gang violence, a gang war we are going over there in the parish of St. and Steer Town to be more specific. But before we get into that particular story, which is the main story, I just want to make a few corrections from yesterday morning's vlog. Now I made mention about this man known as Okim. I stated in that vlog that he was found headless along no man's land. Well, what happened in you know, my peeps is that actually two bodies were found on that particular day when this man was found. So it seems as if everybody has the same information about one body being found and not knowing that it was actually two bodies that was found. Now this man presently on your screen is said to be Okim, a cab driver. His body was found along Gem Crescent in the Kingston Western Police Division. Now a headless body was also found along no man's land which is the original no man's land so it is quite common especially in garrison communities for the same name to be given to different places because of similar occurrences taking place in that particular era so the body we never have no head was found along the original no man's land right there so wrapped in the white tarpaulin and the head for that body now was found in the other no man's land which is off Maxil avenue a place known as barnes avenue now the reason for the both places to have the same name is that some gruesome type of crime was committed in both places and usually the name is attributed to the places because the recipient of that wicked and brutal act was indeed an innocent person hence the name is attached to that place so the man whose body was found along the original no man's land the man without the head is said to be of a benbow street address he has been positively id'd by the denham town police as Lynn Van Morris of Benbow Street in the Kingston Western Police Division. The other man, as I stated earlier, this man presently on your screen, said to be known as Okim, a cab driver. He was robbed 
and his car stolen and his body dumped along Gem Crescent, same place in the Kingston Western Police Division. Now we have all of that cleared up, make we move over to the parish of St. Anne. Now, in recent times, my peeps, I carried a story not too long ago. Actually, I talked about somewhere down to the ending part of August, where two men get caught up in the vicinity of a bar in a place known as Damhead in Steertown, St. Anne. The two men who end up loose for them three points, you know, is a man known as Javardo Whitlock and another man known as Akeem Reed, but more popularly known as Older Head. Both are from Damed in St. Anne. So, let me give you a quick rundown on what actually took place. So, about 10.50 on that night, Whitlock and Reed and another man was there standing in front of a bar in the Damed Square having drinks when men traveling in a grey motor car drove up. The men jumped out of the car, opened fire, hitting all three men. But Whitlock and Reed end up lose for them three pints. The other 21-year-old man was injured and was treated at the hospital. Now, that never just happened just so. That had come from a long time. That was a reprisal knockings and clappings. I know I always hear me mention the friend turn enemies type of situation. And all of what I'll be saying is basically coming from that. Now the other day I did a vlog where I posted these two criminal elements who is listed as wanted by the police. Now today's vlog is basically focusing more so on Kemar Matthews. But before me get into theme story, we're gonna talk about Javian Simpson. Now Javian Simpson was caught by the police and he is one of the two listed as wanted by the sentence be a police in relation to a knockings and clappings incident. Now he was charged by the police and he is said to be a lifeguard from Salt Spring, Montego Bay. Now over the years, I've been preaching to the regular ones and ones them out there in these rural sections of different parishes that when you don't see them all dirty boy from out of port coming at the place, don't make them sit down there and get too comfortable because they are come hot up on a place and said so said done this boy javan simpson come from all the way i wish part salt spring in mobile now he was charged with wounding with intent and i never want machete him use to do the wounding he was also charged for possession of prohibited weapon and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony and also unauthorized possession of ammunition the charges are said to be stemming from an incident which occurred on Middle Street in Exchange Ocherios in St. Anne on Wednesday, July 5, 2023. The police report stated that sometime about 9.30 p.m., Simpson and a group of men were traveling in a Toyota Axio motor car along Middle Street when they stopped where a man was standing. It is said that Simpson then alighted from that motor vehicle and fired several cans, hitting the man all over his body. The police were alerted and the man was taken to the hospital for treatment. Now, the criminal element, Javan Simpson, was later listed as wanted, but he is one of the smarter ones. He surrendered to the police on Wednesday, September 19th. He was then later charged by the police after he underwent a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. His accomplices are also being sought by the police. Now, I could talk about this other one here, presented on your screen. Kemar 
Matthews, also known as Bitter in the criminal underworld. And trust me, he never get a better name because this boy, Kemar Matthews, in Bitter. Bad. Yeah, man. Now, the whole war around the sea go on, a steer town is a friend's turn enemies type of situation because the man them were a war no we know used to team up together and war against a place known as green bay a gang in a green bay known as dust gang yeah man them used to team up together under the name as YPC gang, that is the Young Paper Chasers gang. So them used to team up together and go knock it and clap it over Green Bay and the Dust gang man them. But now friends turn enemies. So you have an internal gang feud now. I go on. Now I made mention of a double knockings and clappings. I go on in a steer town there recently where the two man them get dirt at the bar. Well, three man get can up and the two man them get dirt at the bar. Now, this internal gang conflict here is over danship. Yeah, man. Now, them a fight over who's supposed to be the top man, the man who are reign supreme over the YPC gang, the young paper chasers gang. Now, the first dan, was a youth to them call Hussy P. Now Hussy P end up get dirt. And names were called as to who dirt Hussy P. But I don't know. I don't think I should have really get in at that part right there. Right now. So I'll just leave that part of it for another vlog. Now Hussy P get dirt. No longer among the land of the living. So Hussy P have another brother known as Munga. Now Munga take up the danship and a run off the place. And quick and fast, Munga end up get dirt. Now Munga have a smaller brother who goes by the name of Mana. Now Mana is presently in the custody of the police. So basically, Mana still a run off the place from behind bars. Many people are refute the claim, say Mana pick up the danship. But if truth be told, Mana are the man who are run off the place. Now, the brother now that was listed as wanted by the police, Kemar Matthews, but more popularly known as bitter decide say man are not supposed to get no danship over him because him a real knackis and clappis for mana and that cause attention and basically cause the internal gang war where I go on but before me go further let me play a vice clip from the old dirty corner boy, Kemar Matthews, a.k.a. Bitter. So you can get a better understanding that this boy is a real old dirty corner boy. Yeah, man. Listen. That's how the move. I'm going to call you now. When I call you, you're going to tell me, boss, you're soon coming and you're going to call. Post yourself, hold on, I'm going to watch you, hold on, you're going I never found that I never called man and said the funny girl when they want to call man. Call man and tell me when they're ready to go in that place. They want to use man energy youth. And tell them to use man energy because now I'm moving the loyalty in the youth. Man, I want you to yo, treat them in the youth. Man, I want you to hold on in the youth. I'm telling you that, you know. You know that, me, I tell you. All right, brother. I watch every man bum buckle and movements, you know, brother. All the time a man come when they want to to go up in that place, you know. I call man and they want to use man energy because different them post the wall in the brother. I'm done with all of them things. You tell me now, I'm here for everybody, brother. So all the boy phone it, man, just a call him all I can see man phone a ring, you know. I'm going to boom and take you off of WhatsApp call and start calling man now, man. You know, man, come like a lucky man like I'm in phone in a ring, you know, I'm start calling back man WhatsApp in a ring, you know, all. Brother, me, I open for every fucking thing, man. How long man yesterday, I never ring my phone and say, cause man, up on the gun. My man, I beg no boy, you know, dog. I'm telling him that, you know. 
Thing man, I watch every bumbo wall. Go on, man, I'm not responding to my brother because I don't see it. The call, I'm going to call anybody because I can't tell me to set up on the ground. And you don't know what I'm going to call you for. See, just like how you say, I don't know who you're talking about. What the fuck? Why oh, my peeps from them vice clips there, Kemara, Matthews, but more popularly known as Bitter Son, really bitter, yeah man. So what really go on anyway now is that Bitter have a friend known as Bun. Now Bun is also from Montego Bay St. James. So Bitter recruit him, carry him into the community. So I meet a little youngie. When time we say youngie, we are talking about a little underage girl. Yeah, man, a little schoolers. And start beat it. And when time we say beat it, I mean, him and I share the same bed and I exchange bodily fluids. Now, a next youth from the area known as Tufum. Yeah, man, everybody know the name the two. Did I beat the same girl? No, that did cause a little type of feuding to start going and Tufum and Bitter Bridging were known as Bun jump off so Bitter and Bun go give him a white circle and dirt him yeah man so Bitter and Bun dirt Tufum and basically I write this so the official internal gang war start so Mana go so back now and send one of him friend if go slap her back a youth and a youth known as Ziggy end up get dirt and bitter and bun go circle back a youth who is related to Marna that a Marna cousin and slap him away and right there some my peeps all hell broke loose so this aside there, touch that the side there, and that the side there, touch a man from this aside there, and everybody start pine fingers at each other. So a whole heap of people end up lose them three pints. And all of that boil down to the latest double knockings and clappings were going. Where the two man them end up get dirt at the bar. But a long time the youth of them call bitter, really bitter, you know. Because a few years back, them slap with him bigger brother in a place known as Lewis in a sentence. And we get to understand him go up there, go slap with all a female in retaliation for that. So the ongoing internal gang war with the young paper chasers gang from in a steer town, St. Anne, definitely has claimed many lives. It has also caused many especially the younger folk, the young men in that community, to flee and live in other communities because the criminal elements in that era is forcing some of these young men to become criminals and these young men in fear of their lives just flee the community and live elsewhere which i commend them for doing so and not becoming a menace to society like these other criminal elements so my peeps of sentan please don't allow these criminal elements to continue with the mayhem in your communities work with the police give the police any information that you think can help and as always, if you don't trust the police, you can pass that information on by various means by contacting 119 Crime Stop at 311. You can contact on the spot news media or any like minded vlogger. Any vlogger where you feel like say you more comfortable with and trust to give the information, pass it on, man. And I can guarantee you that that like minded vlogger will pass the information on to the relevant authorities who can make make effective change yeah man so anyway my peeps remember if you like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man